في ريليشن شيبس اليوم مشاهدينا رح نحكي عن اهميه الدماغ والفرق بين دماغ الرجل ودماغ المراه آه تفاصيل اكثر عن هالموضوع مع ضيفتنا برحب بكاميليا حطوم اهلا وسهلا فيك كاميليا حضرتك نيورو سايكولوجست او طبيب عصبي نفسي حضرتك من اصل لبناني كاميليا ولكن عشتي فتره طويله بالخارج فرح تجاوب علي بالانجليزي وراح نحاول هيك نوصل لنتيجه بترضي المشاهدين كاميليا حضرتك نيورو سايكولوجست يعني yes. طبيب نفسي عصبي شو هو هالاختصاص uh, we work with people that have brain related problems or disorders and we look into things such as memory languages speech visual uh, impairments, as well as mood and emotional troubles yeah. that are related to the disorder or the brain damage. With this experience, it means that the science and the brain damage and the brain damage is not to deal with people who have a problem with their brain damage and they will explain to us what kind of uh, cases do you deal with? So, for example, we deal with people that have um, dementia, Mm. such as which is memory problems in elderly people mm. and you will notice if you're looking at brain images that the brain shrinks and that causes a lot of side effects in uh, dementia in, this in case, dementia uh, mm. um, so you will see memory problems uh, attention and orientation problems uh, mainly mm. so for example this is what we look at and then we uh, send them back to a neurologist we speak to the families We talk. Uh, we bring all the doctors together. من الحالات اللي بيعالجوها هالمتخصصين أو بيها الاختصاص الطبي الأشخاص اللي عندهم دمنشيا أو فقدين الذاكرة والأكثر بينصابوا بها الحالات هن الأشخاص المتقدمين بالسن وبيها الحالة دماغ بيصغر دماغ with people who have dementia. Okay, there are also other cases that require going to a neuropsychologist. For sure. What are they? Something like a traumatic brain injury, which is, uh, can happen if you have a car accident or a motorbike accident, for example, which is something much more general. And when the patient comes, we're not too sure what they have. So here we're going to do a very wide range of tests and we're going to work with people, uh, more doctors. So now we'll start working with speech therapists, uh, physiotherapists, mm -hmm. neurologists. Um, we will also be talking to the family because in traumatic brain injury, for example, it will start affecting their mood. They become more aggressive, um, more impulsive. Okay. They sometimes lose their job. The family breaks down. So we have to we have to deal with all of these problems. كمان بيعالجوا اشخاص بيتعرضوا لاي اصابه بالراس ممكن تاثر على دماغهم ممكن يكون حادث سياره او اي حادث ممكن يؤدي لاصابه بالراس وبالتالي ضرر للدماغ وهون العلاج بيكون مشترك بينهم هن اللي هن نيورو سايكولوجست وكمان بين عده اختصاصات طبيه مثل فيزيكال ثيرابيست او معالج فيزيائي كمان نيورولوجست اختصاصي بامراض الجهاز العصبي وكمان سبيتش ثيرابيست اللي هن متخصصين بالتقويم النطق some facts about the brain. What don't we know about our brain, Camilia? The a very important basic fact is that the brain is always changing. There are very few things that are definite when it comes to the brain. And I can't emphasize this enough. It's always changing in what sense? It's well, growing, developing? As you grow, yes, it's developing. But it also depends on work, on where you live, on how many languages you may learn. So the brain never stops growing and changing. And it constantly has to be stimulated. Mm -hmm. Depending on how much you stimulate it, that's how much it yeah, develops. Yeah, exactly. من الأشياء اللي ما بنعرف عن الدماغ من الولادة هو إنه الدماغ بيطور يعني بينما مش بمعنى بيكبر بالحجم ولكن من طوره وكل شخص بيطور دماغه حسب هو قد إيه بيحرك إذا بدكن أو بيستخدم بيستعمل دماغه وهون بس نقطة واحدة حابة وضحها كاميلا بنسمع إنه إجمالا البشر بيستخدموا بس بين أربعة وخمسة بالمية من الكاباسيتي اللي عندهم لدماغه. Very little. A bit. And the interesting thing about the brain is that we're constantly discovering new things. Mm -hmm. And every, every day, every other day, there's always new research coming out. No. This is what makes it very, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> Yes. استخدم بس لغاية 7% من دماغه يعني قدر يحقق كل هالإنجازات وهالاختراعات كلها وبس ب 7% من دماغه فكيف إذا هل عندنا الأبيليتي أو الكاباسيتي حتى نستخدم أكثر؟ يس بدي إياك تفكري بالجواب كاميلا رح نرجع لك بعد هالوقفة القصيرة نرجع 
على حديثنا ب relationships مع كاميليا حطوم نورو سايكولوجيست وعم تشرح لنا أو عم تقدم لنا معلومات عن الدماغ معلومات ما بنعرفها مثل أربعة على خمسة بالمية بس من استخدام كاباسيتي بدماغنا yes. هل ممكن نستخدم أكثر إذا حاولنا أو إذا عملنا سيميليشن لدماغنا؟ يا yeah. Um, a very good thing about the brain is that it constantly, as I said, grows and changes. So, for example, if somebody's had a stroke, um, the damaged area mm. is like a scar. It won't heal. Mm. However, another part of the brain will be able to take over mm. all, the, all the abilities that the other part used to take. Yeah, if it's a child or a child, 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 نعم ما في مجال انه ترجع نرجع نستخدمه no, ولكن اعضاء اخرى من الدماغ mm -hmm. يمكن بتغطي هالوظائف هي بارت ويل تيك اوفر ات ذاتس هاو يو ستيميليت ذا برين يو هاف تو تيك ا لوت اوف افورت اند ورك بس ايفينشولي ات هابنز نعم خلينا نرجع للولاده كاميليا عند الولاده آه, تكوين الدماغ آه, عند المراه او عند الرجل بيختلف اوكي ترانزليشن اف يو جو باك تو بيرث Uh, at birth, yes. uh, is the woman's brain different from the man's brain? Yeah, generally at birth, a man's brain is bigger by 8 to 10 percent. Okay. Doesn't well, mean you he... were talking size? Yes. Okay. Doesn't mean that he's smarter. And there are some disorders... In this case, the size matter? No. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> As a child, for example, there are some disorders where a baby can be born with a, a brain that's too large. Okay. And he will never grow up normally. Mm. He risks to that's die sooner. That's a brain sooner. defect. Yes. Mm. So the size of the brain really doesn't talk, doesn't okay. mean anything. So in general, the man's brain is uh, slightly Larger. bigger than yeah. uh, the woman's brain. Mm -hmm. um, another difference that is, that, we can, that is definite is that, for example, a woman is born, uh, there's an area in the brain that connects both hemispheres, the corpus callosum, which goes from here to here. And because of that, they are able, for example, in language, to be better in that than men. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you give a story to a woman, both sides would be stimulated, whereas a man, only the left side is stimulated, okay. which explains why women generally have better language abilities. Okay. Uh, language is meaning we are capable of learning more, more language. languages than men. No, not in that sense. We're in better sense. at school, for example. Okay. Children, you will notice that girls have less learning disabilities than boys. Okay. Such as? Such as dyslexia. Okay. Dyslexia, um, okay. which means... Uh, I'm sorry, Camilia, we yes. have to go to live uh, coverage and we'll continue on conversation.